What's going on with you guys? Thanks for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So if you notice, we uh, we on a roll right now. So reason being is because I went by one of my favorite local fish stores, Exotic Aquarium. It is in Sacramento, California. Um, and since I've done enough tours in there, I don't want to bore you with another one. But I did want to disclose the fact that we got some, got some more fish, guys. Uh, we got... A freshwater fish and we got a saltwater fish i also bought some sand for the 150 gallon for the soft shell turtles i know a bunch of you have been concerned about that and i'm ready to put some sand back in there so i got a 50 pound bag of play sand and i got some really cool fish so um i guess i could spoil it for you that's not a big deal you'll see when we get to the house but um, I finally got my Emperor Angel. I was going to get another Queen Angel, but we've tried that a couple of times. Didn't really work out. So I'm deciding to go with this Emperor Angel. It's nice, really nice size, really healthy, really thick. Um, so I got that. And then they had a, I really should have recorded guys, because they had some really cool stuff in there. Um, they had this nice, they had a bunch of them, but they had this nice flower horn, you know. The same thing y'all think they're red that, uh, that Houston is, right? Um, but you'll see, it's, it's definitely a difference, but it looks so nice. Um, so we got another flower. We got a flower horn, guys. Um, but what I wanted to say was they have, they had some, some baby flower horns, right? But the thing about these flower horns, I've never seen white and black flower horns i really should have recorded for you guys because um this is a first for me ever seeing and it would have been nice to be able to share that with you guys um sorry about that um but they had some like two inch three inch beautiful beautiful flower horns um they had some that looked like thai silk they had some with the coloration more silver um the undertone black they had some that was all white with black on it like crazy colorations like, I don't know which flower horns they bred in order to get these fry, but they are amazing. So um, the flower horn that I got, it has like a red base and then it has like a, a metallic, um, the metallic like spots on it, you know, really, really nice. Uh, but, you know, it's nothing like actually showing you. So when we get to the house, we'll take a look at them. I got a nice little hour drive, so I'll see you when we get to the house. All right, guys, so we are back at the house. We have our sand right here that we're gonna put into this 150. As I said, we have this beautiful, beautiful flower horn right here. Check it out. You can see that nice cheap price right there at $49.99. Can see them. We'll show so. them once we get them in this tank. So the best part about so we put them in, yeah, yeah, they give them a hard time. So the best, there we go. Look at the colors. Can you see them now, babe? Yeah, I do. So nice. So the best part about the freshwater acclimation process, temperature acclimate. Pop them in. Look how they're watching them. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And then we have this. Oh, nice. Let me uh, turn it around so they can see. Out, out. 239 for this bad boy. Look at him. Now we've been wanting him for a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got this. Got him. Got this good emperor right here. You know the acclimation process is a little bit more extensive for this guy. We're gonna have to do a drip acclimate. We're gonna put him in a five gallon bucket, do a drip acclimate. And then we're gonna get him into his tank. He is ready to come out. Yeah, he is. So. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's a little feisty. So, um, yeah, that's what I gotta do. So before I grab his camera again, best believe, the flower horn is gonna be in the 125. This guy is gonna be in his tank. Still gotta figure out where we're gonna put him. It's kinda of big. And then I'm gonna make sure that I put the sand into the 150 
so where you can see all three aquariums in the same video. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got everybody acclimated and into their tanks. We have the sand over here into the turtle tank. So flower horn right here, looking amazing. Everybody in here doing good, little aggression, but that's to be expected with a predator tank. Sand over here in the 150. I'm waiting on somebody to hit that dislike button because it's cloudy. I just put the sand in there, guys. That's why water's cloudy. So um, probably tomorrow, if the water don't clear up, I'll do a water change on it. But I'm thinking that once this, the filters do their thing, it'll clear up naturally. But uh, we gotta go check on that saltwater fish, don't we? Let's go. All right, guys. So I know what you're thinking. You got a quarantine. You're right. I really wanted to quarantine this fish, but the two quarantine tanks I have is a 20 gallon and a 10 gallon. This guy is way too big for that for those small aquariums. So I'm taking my chance. I don't recommend you guys do that. If you can quarantine every fish you get. I was really on the fence about this. I let him acclimate a lot longer than I typically would just because. I wasn't certain on whether or not I wanted to go ahead and take that chance, but here he is, fingers, toes, and eyes crossed. Hopefully we don't have any issues with this guy. He looked healthy, thick, no ick. I treated the tank, I treated the bucket with a little bit of copper safe while he was in there. We're just gonna chant it, guys. But um, yeah, so those are the two new, those are the two new fish. We also got a fish yesterday. I did not tell you that. I did not show you that. And we didn't go to the store together. Let's take a look at him. And behind me, we have the Emperor Snapper, y'all. This guy looks amazing. He's about five inches in length. I cannot wait to get him into his tank. But for now, he's in this 10 gallon doing his thing. In this 10 gallon quarantine, I had him in here with Titus. Titus is just a bully, y'all. I mean, I'm looking forward to getting him back in that 225. I think once we get him over there, I think that's gonna be it. Maybe a line fish somewhere down the line, but I don't really think I wanna put too many more fish in there. I wanna let everybody grow. I really can't wait for those groupers to grow. Watch when we start having those feeding videos with those guys. It's gonna be really exciting. But um, yeah, so, the other new fish that I didn't let you guys see, just got them yesterday. So let's wrap up the video over here. Look at this guy, just dominating the tank. Going back and forth, he's not afraid. He's fully acclimated, looking good. I haven't got him to eat yet, but uh, we have some feeding videos coming up, best believe. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video couple new additions to the channel. If you have any comments, drop them down in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow my Facebook page, The Fish Corner. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And until next time, guys, peace.